the, the resources and methods we found useful during the event, um, one of those was the volunteer hub. So we had a specific building in the museum that we used as a place for volunteers to meet us. To have some training, to have lunch, but they also were aware of the fact there was a member of staff there at all times. So if they got stuck or they had questions or if they needed first aid, they knew exactly where to go. And the second resource that we found really helpful was actually the goodie bag we created as part of the rewards. But the goodie bag actually doubled up as their information pack. So they had question and answers, the maps, um, they had all the information they needed for the event. And actually we discovered that having tangible, physical things were just as important as having staff available for volunteers. So there's actually that element of sort of resources, the physical object and the support and knowing that somebody was there for them were equally as important. We recognise and thank the volunteers during the event itself. Normally in Amgiv Cymru uh, we have a uh, rewards programme and we usually have parties, events, behind the scenes access uh, but we couldn't guarantee the volunteers that signed up for half a day or a day only would be able to participate. So we actually concentrated on thanking volunteers during the event which was quite a learning curve for us. And the method of recognition I'd recommend to others is to make sure that your rewards and recognition tie into your event or to your organisation. You know, people volunteered at the Fagans Food Festival because they love St Fagans and they wanted to be involved in the food festival. So, you know, our goodie bags contained chocolate because it was the food festival. We had discount cards because they wanted to be part of the museum and be involved with the museum. So my advice would be to make sure that you tie in your rewards to your event so volunteers feel a part of it as well.